Hello there everybody, my name is Coach Chad Oxter, one bought built for theme park news and welcome to a theme park Coach Chad review. This is from the big one, the Pepsi Max big one at Blackpool Pleasure Beach. Uh, now if you like this video make sure you like, give it a like, comment, subscribe and click the notification bell so you never video. Please share with your friends, family and on social media and also make sure you uh, get your comments in, your questions in for the Q&A session to celebrate 1,500 subscribers. Uh, make sure you use the hashtag question before or after your question. And for now guys let's get into this review. So this is from Big One at Blackpool Pleasure Beach. So this is an aerodynamics hypercoaster that opened on the 28th of May at 1994, the same year as Nemesis. The Bolgrim Mobile Inverter Coaster Alton Towers and Shockwave, the stand up roller coaster at Drayton Manor. Hark is out to Drayton Manor, by the way. So sad that it's been flooded over. Well, it was flooded over. Uh, so here is a few more statistics for the big one. Uh, so it has a length of 5,497 feet, a height of 213 feet, a drop of 205 feet. A speed of 74 miles per hour, a vertical angle of 65 degrees, a 3 minute duration ride experience in a 3.5 G-force. Uh, now it features in the movie A Monster Calls, for those of you who don't know. It was known as the Pepsi Max Big One from 1994 to 2011 and then from 2012 onwards it's been known as the Big One. Now, this was uh, made by Aerodynamics uh, and basically all the track was stored at Blackpool Promenade. Uh, so um, that was a big construction process. I've seen old footage of the construction process for Pepsi Max Big One or Big One now, as it's called. And um, yeah, it was a good, a, it was quite a long construction process. But you know, Jeffrey Thompson, rest in peace, brilliant, brilliant guy uh, in the amusement park industry. Um, what a guy! And he just uh, just overseeing that construction and you know everything going up and it was an absolute giant for Blackpool Pleasure Beach it's what put Blackpool Pleasure Beach on the map officially um, in my personal opinion because it was the it was the main draw attraction it was a classic theme park it's been a classic theme park for so many years uh, but like I said it, 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 is, it is just an incredible incredible theme park um, and it was a big one that put it on the worldwide scale it was it was already a classic park and big one put it on the map even more so um, Big One is an iconic attraction at Blackpool Pleasure Beach. All of the woodies are fantastic as well, but, but the Big One is that classic attraction that put the park on the map. Uh, so it's got its own iconic features. Uh, now, many people in the enthusiast community have joked about it. Hashtag Big One Monorail. You know, it's not really a hyper. It's not really got much, you know, speed or airtime. I'm not going to lie to you. Um, I did get some of it, but not all of it. But I think it's because when I was riding. Now, interesting story about how I got to get on my first ride, my first ever ride on the big one. Uh, so, picture the scene: 2016 Blackpool Pleasure Beach, my first and at the moment only visit. I am, like I said in past updates, news updates about Valhalla's reimagining in 2021. I am looking to go back to Blackpool Pleasure Beach for that. Um, but I think this year, I think the main focus is Alton Towers, Flamingo Land, Poulton's Park, uh, and then some of the other Halloween events uh, down in October as well. So I think that's the focus for this year, uh, as well as the York Dungeon stuff. Um, but yes, 2016, Blackpool Pleasure Beach. Um, so we were there on the first day. I was camping in Blackpool, and uh, the first day it was a rainy day guarantee offer at the end of it. So uh, we got our tickets back because Big One wasn't running that day. So we got our we got to come back in for free the next day and we decided, you know what, screw it, let's do it. Uh, so the second day we got in and there it was, ready to open the big one. I've seen it on the Pleasure Beach documentary. If you haven't watched that, I'm going to link the playlist to the Pleasure Beach documentary with all six episodes in the description down below. So I really recommend you watch that documentary if you want to see the ins and outs of Blackpool Pleasure Beach around 1997 to 1998. So... You know, it's, it's a massive, you know, this documentary was, you know, filmed and and that around the same time as, um, you know, Alton Towers was sort of constructing Secret Weapon uh, 4, uh, which of course was Oblivion, uh, the dive coaster in the now known as X Sector, but of course then it was Fantasy World before, uh, before X Sector was constructed and then Oblivion was built. Uh, so it was around the same time these two documentaries from Alton Towers 
uh, the Magic Factory documentary and of course uh, the Pleasure Beach documentary as well. So very different from the ins and outs of Alton Towers. The ins and outs of Blackpool Pleasure Beach recorded in this documentary. I've watched Big One on the documentaries, I've watched it on POVs, I've watched it on Theme Park Worldwide vlogs and other vlogs from other YouTubers. Um, and I've been dying to get on it and I finally got on it and experienced it. And yes, I may not have got much airtime on a couple of the hills, but I did get some airtime. Um, and I don't think it's a monorail at all. Big one fanboys and fangirls out there, you know, you'll you'll, you'll be you'll be you know telling me, oh, you're my hero. Um, but yeah, I agree with you. I do like Big One. I really do like it. It's got some airtime, not all of it, but it's got some airtime. Um, and it's just, I love its history. I love that I got on it for the iconicness and the history behind the ride. Um, so, you know, Big One is an a iconic ride for me. It was an iconic moment for me. I was sat second car from the back. I was right at the back, but not the complete back. Um, but I still got lots of airtime and I still got loads of force as well. So it was, it was a very interesting experience. Um, you know, going all around the Blackpool Pleasure Beach and, you know, this is the time when the new bridge was put in, replacing the Tom Sawyer Bridge, but there was no construction 2018. Obviously, that's another reason to go back to Blackpool next year, apart from the Valhalla reimagining, to do Icon. Um, but yeah, like I said, the big one, fantastic ride, uh, not going to lie, very iconic, very classic. It's a moment for me uh, as an enthusiast and I love riding it. I absolutely loved it. Uh, so thank you very much for listening to this Coast Child review from the big one at Blackpool Pleasure Beach. Make sure you like, comment, subscribe, and click the bell so you never miss a YouTube video. And for now, guys, my name is Coast Child, keep up the coast life, and I'll see you guys in the next video very, very soon. Take care, guys, and awesome day.